with that being said, are we ready to find out how to get out of the friend zone? <laughs> oh my god! This is going to be great. Right, first of all, we have to explain our theory on okay. friend zone. Go for it. All right. Now, if a woman finds herself in a man's friend zone, there's only two options. One, you are the target that he comes and hits every now and again between you know midnight and four in the morning. Also known as an FWB, Friends with Benefits. Yes. And the next one is, he now looks at you as a sister. Now, he will fight to the death to protect you. Yes. But you're not going to get the pun us. Mm-hmm. It's just, he's just... Yes. I mean, that's just how it rolls. Yeah, once you have... It's just like when women say, you rem- you remind me of my brother, you're like a brother to me. Yeah. You are no longer Nookie Ned. No, you're done. You're done. Yeah. It, it is never going to happen. Yeah. Women, for some reason, because they have spent a lot of their time you know, paying attention to feminist indoctrination that convinces them that the friend zone is some sort of a sexist myth... Apparently, only when a man says it. Yeah. <laughs> because they write shit like this out of the other side of their I, I typically don't keep women in the friend zone at all. No. I mean, I... It's just, no, they're either in the sister zone or they're not there at all. That's right. Yeah. Or they're acquaintances, which is not in the friend zone. Yeah, because yeah, it's no good. It's yeah. definitely no good. And this woman has no concept of reality. Ironically, her name is Crystal Crowder. Ah! I sincerely hope it is not Stephen's ex. <laughs> oh, my God. Or sister. Yeah. Nothing's more frustrating than being into a super hot guy, only to have him call you his buddy or tell you that you're like a sister to what him. What I tell you? Just like that, you're in the friend zone. You know you'd make an amazing girlfriend. He just doesn't see it yet. Mm. You know, it's really amazing how when women are not attracted to you, and you keep flirting with them after they tell you that there's no chance you're a creep and a pervert. But when a woman wants to date you and you don't want to date her, you just don't know how great she is yet. Yeah, and if a dude does that, he's going to he's basically you're going to go to HR. You're going to catch a charge possibly too. Cuz you're creepy. You creepy man. Didn't we cover that in the creepy factor? Yep. Lucky for you, getting out of the friend zone isn't impossible. It just takes a little effort. <laughs> well, considering this woman has no clue about the two different types of friend zone that men currently employ, yep. uh, my guess is that she's probably just going to wind up with a bunch of bail situations if this shit works at all, which Bang I, I and immediately doubt. immediately leave. Number one. This is women psychologically projecting male behavior onto their own psyches. And men do this one all the time. Play it cool. Yeah. You might lose them all together if you start begging and pleading for them to give you a chance. You're not getting out of the friend zone overnight. Take your time and play it cool. This Patience applies- is definitely a must in yeah. this case. And that one applies to men, too. If yeah. you're in the friend zone and you're playing it cool because you think you're going to get your shot. It's not going to happen. What? It's not going to happen. You have to one. asshole your way out. Yeah, you have to asshole your way out because if you stay in there, you stay in the pocket you're going to be leached of your resources with absolutely no tail reach around. Yes, because we all know how the, the flip sides of this coin usually work. When you are a dude in the friend zone, you are providing all of the perks of a relationship to a woman with none of the sex. Yep. When you are a woman in the friend zone, this is the friend zone, not the sister zone, you are getting all you're providing all of the sex of a relationship with none of the safety, stability, commitment, or slush funds. Mm-hmm. That's usually how it goes. But if he's calling you buddy or says you're like a sister, it's you're o- in the you're in the sister zone. It's over. Number two, date other guys and talk about it. All right. Well, I'm going I'm to tell you exactly how well this goes just from like the, uh, the the big and little brother dynamic that we have going here. Yep. yep. Okay. Um, hey, Pop, did I tell you last month that right before I came over here, my wife decided to surprise me <laughs> in the long room with a little. Oh, That's what happens I don't, right there. Stop. I don't need to hear that, man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> when you are little sister, you don't want to hear about your little sister getting her tonsils buttered. Ah, no. No. That, that has the same ick factor of walking in on your grandparents. I, I would say the grandparents is worse. It, it, debatable. <laughs> okay. 
It, it, I mean, it's all bad. <laughs> It's all nightmare. But it's like, you don't want to think about your little sister, unless you're a leftist and you sexualize everything Ah. and then claim not to. You know, you don't want to think about your little sister getting her holes plowed out like the parking lot at the Overlook Hotel. No. You don't want to do that. No. No. It's 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 terrible. Uh, Terrible. (laughs) If he's treating you like one of the guys, then act like it. It's amazing how a guy suddenly notices a woman as soon as she starts dating someone else. No, that's psychological projection. Yeah. Well, first of all, she has to put word salad in this to make yeah. it believable. This is a chick thing. Yeah. Chicks will friend zone dudes thinking that they can always pick this guy up somewhere down the line if they feel like it. If yes. all else fails. Yeah, the backup plan. Yeah. But as soon as that guy finds another chick and starts <laughs> dating her, they freak the fuck out. Yes, they do. I mean happens every time. Some women don't. But a majority of them get upset. Yeah. A lot of them who, who want to keep you in reserve, that's exactly how they will behave. Because literally, like, well, that's my wa- my spare wallet, yeah. not yours. It's happened to me. Yeah. This chick I used to you know simp for back in the day. She friend-zoned me. I moved on, but left it behind, and completely wrote her off. She found out I was happy. That's midnight. Bring. Oh, look at that. Tits. No. Fascinating. <laughs> No, thank you. I responded back, would have been better if you sent it before you had a kid. Ha, 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 lol. All right, here we go. This this third one's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even finish reading this. Avoid dating within the circle of friends, or he might avoid you due to the bro code. That is the only good piece of advice she has given so far. Yes. But even still, it's not going to happen. Mm. While you don't have to get serious, date someone while you're waiting and don't forget to tell him all about it. A little jealousy can be healthy. No. No, it can't. No, you never do that. <laughs> but here, here's what happens. Uh, if, if you are in the friend zone to a dude and you're banging another dude and you're talking about it, he may probably still keep you as a friend, Yeah, but you will never, ever progress beyond that because no. there's a vile factor mm-hmm. it's the same thing when you're a dude in a chick's friend zone and she tells you about dude she's banging and stuff mm-hmm. if you stick around after that there's only one word for you and it starts with a c and ends with yuck <laughs> <laughs> Kyuck. <laughs> you, you don't need to be the cuck man just uh. move on and once again, I have to go back to this right here. A little jealousy can be healthy. This is women, once again, psychologically projecting their own worldview onto men. We are not the same. Women who feel a little jealous in a relationship are more faithful. So they view this as a good thing. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Men, well, listen, men... All right, we they they want a man with options, well, and that's get, where the, this little little tidbit comes from. When you come into your own as a dude, you will come to realize that your peace and tranquility are basically top of the pyramid. Right below that is respect. Mm-hmm. All right, now if you have to walk around in eggshells around a woman all the time, it's destroying your tranquility. Get rid of her. It's yeah. not worth it. Yeah. If you are in the friend zone, it should be a ghost town. As yeah. in, you should disappear and don't even haunt the bitch. <laughs> That's right. Done. Leave. Now, this cracks me up right here. The, the, the number three on every bold article is always some sponsorship bullshit. Yeah, yeah. But this really, really makes me laugh. Want to partner? Attract love with the power of your mind. All right, Professor X, what do you got for me? Uh, Sweeten is a new research-based startup that shows you how to call love into your life with the power of your mind. I I bet these people believe in astrology, too. Take uh, our quiz and try our visualizations. Click here. Should we do this on a stream sometime? Yeah, probably. <laughs> you guys want us to take the sweetened quiz and find out how we're going to collive into our lives with the power of our minds? Look, man, I'm done. <laughs> I just want my tranquility. Ugh. Number four. And this could go either way. Yeah. Flirt with him. If you're in the sister zone. If you're in the sister zone, it's going to have an ick factor. Yeah, he's going to get yucky, and you might get ghosted. And he will literally call you bro. Yeah. The first time you try to do like the hand on the chest, oh, you're so bro, funny. Think hey. like, hey, get out of here, bro. Oh, hey, no, hey, hey. No, no, we're, uh, we're not there yet. Too many beers, huh, bro? Right. I got gotcha. you. Get out of here. Bruh. Get out of here. 
<laughs> back off. Can you go get me a sandwich from the fridge? You're good at that, right? You little sandwich makers. Get out of here, you cute little ass. <laughs> I fucking see that shit. Uh, this should be a given, but some women give up when they're labeled as a friend. Well, you've been telling us forever yeah. that no means no. That's right. Right? Yeah, but in a, when a woman, it means no means I'm a stalker. Yeah. When you tell a woman no, she's like, you just don't know it yet. Yeah. You basically just invited a stalker into your life, and you didn't even give her the 10 dick. Exactly. That is the top-level crazy-ass chick move if ever I heard one. You just don't know it yet. Oh, my God. Yeah, it sounds all cute and sweet when it's, you know, it's a little eight and a half, you know, with a nice ass who, you know, maybe you wanted her for the first, like, five minutes, but then you, you know, went to take a piss behind the dumb cumster and saw her getting railed by Jamal, and you're like, I'm just going to go pee in the street. You just yeah, forget it. Coat and like, Good. And you're done with her at that point. Yeah. Ugh, not as much as Jamal is, but still. Don't give up. Try some friendly flirting. It doesn't have to be anything overtly sexual, but make sure you're giving off the right signals. As a plus, his friends will likely notice and ask him about it. No, no, his friends are going to know that you're in the sister zone. Well, even even if she's in the sister zone and she's starting to try to get out of it, her, the friend, the dude's friends are going to be like, "Yo, uh, yeah, she's trying to get you, Johnson. If you if she's in your friend zone." You're going to have to make a decision. Either you bang her or cut her away. Yeah, you're going to bail or you know, yeah. you're going to bail or you're just going to ail. I mean, even <laughs> if you think you're getting out of the friend zone, That's you're just... Good... Bail or ail. <laughs> 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 bang and immediately leave or just eh, immediately leave. <laughs> <laughs> bail or ail. I'm going to write that one down later. That's hilarious. Oh, it just cracks me up, man. Because if, if you were to give a man this advice... He's going to jail. They would call you creepy. Yeah. You're, you're going to jail. You're going to catch a charge. Number five, dress up a little. Mm. Actually, that doesn't work so much on dudes. No. Unless we're already like... Eh, you know, like yeah. we're in it to win it. It doesn't really do anything for us. Like when Once we have, a, have you around, if you're, you know halfway decent looking and we have any modicum of real feelings for you. It doesn't matter what you wear. Yeah. I listen, I I've had, you know, I've dealt with women professionally and, uh, you know, a couple of them, you know, were into me, I guess. And every time they knew I was going to be around, they always dressed up crazy. And yep. it, it, I mean, yeah, it was nice, but that, that's about it. Cause I'm not losing my job over this. Yep. It's not happening. There you go. Oh, the guy's probably used to seeing you dressed casually. Suggest hanging out at a nicer restaurant, bar, or club. The idea is to have a valid reason to dress up a little. Of course, you could always tell him you have a date later and didn't want to have to go home to change. Make him see you as a woman, not one of the guys. Go ahead and break out your little black dress and heels. All right, yeah. I mean, you can... Women have been doing this tactic since the Bible days. Yeah. It's nothing new. No. I just yeah, whatever. It's their time to waste. <laughs> there we go. Number six. Get him one on one. Guys get distracted easily when they're with their friends, of which you are one. You might be flirting your ass off, but he's oblivious. The solution is simple. Get him one on one. Find an activity you know he loves and ask him to hang out with you. Try making sure his other friends are busy at the time. Now's your chance to really flirt and show him the signs he's been missing. Okay. All right, so drink rum, cup his balls. There you go. Yeah. C call him up. And, I mean, seriously, it's not this difficult, okay? If he wants to bang you, all you have to do is message him after 10 o'clock at night and tell him you're horny. Yeah. Okay. That's well, it. That's it. You, you, well, there's no reason for these mind games. <laughs> Men are very simple creatures, but because women like to overcomplicate everything that's simple, they want to believe we are just as fucked up as they are. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're not. <laughs> but with that in mind again imagine a dude wrote this article encouraging someone to get someone who has made it clear they are just a friend alone and away from their friends and see how fast you catch a charge you're gonna catch a charge that's like uh you know that's stocky mcstock stock yes it is 
And Stucky McStuckerson, table for two. <laughs> Number seven, focus on quality time. It makes sense that spending more time with someone would be a great way to win him over and get him to see you in a different light. And that certainly seems to be the case. One study found that the more time you spend with someone, the more likely they are to become attracted to you. Uh, Given that spending more time with someone allows them to get to know you on a deeper level and see more of your personality, it makes sense that he would begin to realize just what a catch you are. All right. Now, first of all, that is actually pretty valid. It is valid. But at the same time, we both know that the more women talk, the more likely they are to tell on themselves. They're going to listen the minute, the more they run their suck hole, <laughs> they're going to kick off the crazy lights and the Chinese red flag parade. Yep. Almost every time. They're going to put their best foot forward, but if they're taking any of this other advice into account, like date other guys and tell them about it, mm -hmm. he's already going to have a running tally in his head yep. of how much cack you've stacked. And he's, yep. Yeah, he's going to keep that, that platform in his head. <laughs> yep. It's going to go up six inches. Oh! Every time you hear about another cock, <laughs> you know, once you get to 60 cocks, it's like 30 feet. They're doing like the triple Lindy from back to school. Yeah. <laughs> and usually by the time they try to do that shit, they look like Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Actually, I love that movie. That's oh, a great movie. Yeah. Hey, take it easy, honey. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> You're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Number eight. Play a new role. Uh huh. This ought to be interesting. Is this the housewife and the lucky fireman? No, I'm not talking about sexual role playing. Ah, oh, oh, yeah, rats. So no sexy time allowed yet. Mm. Try to figure out how the guy sees you. Does he think of you as his little sister? Are you more like his best guy friend? Are you his wing woman? The wing women are actually a very valuable asset. Yes, they are. Just so you know. Maybe you're his problem solver. Work to change how he sees you. It'll change your friendship a little, but if you work slowly, his perception will change. I remember I was in a bar, and I, I was a wingman for a lesbian chick. That works. I was like, hey, come over here. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? What's your name? And she's standing right there. Uh-huh, thank you. And I look over, and she's like, all right, all right which yeah. one? That one? All right. I would love it. to see you try to give your little surveys in a lesbian <laughs> bar. So how many dicks have you had in you at the same time? Yeah. Buy this motherfucker a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you down for three. <laughs> <laughs> Two standards, one hole in this hole. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Isn't it great, though? Play a new role. You can force his perception of you to change. The same people who will claim that they you need to love them for how they are. Stocky. Yeah, Stocky this is, McStalkerson. This is definitely Stocky McStalkerson. <laughs> Number nine, give him some space. No, he won't forget you. The problem is that he sees you all the time. How does he even know what he's missing? Make some excuse to spend less time with him. It could be you're dating someone or you're involved in a new hobby. Whatever it is, give him a chance to truly miss having you around. The more he misses you, the more he thinks about you. <sighs> Suddenly you're stepping out of the friend zone and you have a real chance. No, you don't. No. No, this is ridiculous. No, this is really stupid. Yes. Uh, listen, if uh, you give him space, more than likely he's going <laughs> to accept the space and you might never get it back. Yeah. Because, like we've said a million times on this show, rejection is a dude's default setting. Yes. We, we can be like lone wolf nomadic creatures and be just fine with it. We are not women. That's right. Yeah. And listen... Uh, you want your space? Take your space and do something productive like find someone else. Yeah, no shit. Jesus Christ, Stocky McStockerson. Women always want what they can't oh have, and God. that's why they think a little jealousy is healthy in a relationship. That, that's some soap opera shit right there. Yes, it is. And then as soon as they get you, guess what? They're going to lose interest in you unless you feed into a little bit of their insecurities because that's the kind of woman we're talking about here. I'm not encouraging you to do that because it's psychologically manipulative. I'm just saying that this is what these ladies seek out and pretend they hate it. <laughs> it's, not a prescri it's not a prescription, at least not no. for this. It's a prescription for the head meds you're probably already taking, you cackling females. Oh, wow. Number 10, ask him to help out. 
Give him a reason to spend more time with you and get involved in your life. Ask him to help out with small or big things. Maybe you need help moving or painting a room. Maybe you need a partner for a charity event. The more things he can help you with, the more one-on-one time you get. Plus, he'll start seeing how valuable he is to your life. Uh, okay, this is just trickery. It is. At this point, you're just being manipulative. Yeah, you're, you're, this is trickery. This is ipulation of his man. Yep, and it's totally okay for a woman to write an article like this. Yeah. If we were to, you know, make an episode with largely very similar points, but in reverse for men, we'd probably get a community guideline strike. Oh, in a heartbeat. Yep. Number 11. Tell them how you feel. So this one I can uh, actually agree with. Yeah, be honest up front. Why all the, uh, the snake oil horse crap? Like I said, you can solve this with a text message at 1038 p.m. Or, or look him in That's the it. face and go, hey, I really like you. Yeah. Can I please have access to your balls? Yeah. I mean, come on. I, I need your snot stick inside me pronto. Like, that's all you got to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and he'll either be like, ew, or, all right, I got seven minutes to kill. <laughs> and you're off to the races. Yeah, pull out the one-eyed Wonder Worm, bro. <laughs> you like cool runnings. <laughs> Right, so basically, like two, of, two of these are actually valid, or That's three. A, so far, yeah. three out of this entire list are, are valid. Yeah, so yeah, t- t- two point five out of 12. fourteen, I guess, ain't bad. Uh, fourteen. That's definitely not a passing grade. Oh my god! But still. <laughs> So, yeah, this one I agree with. After you've done some legwork, no, it's not time to finally tell him how you feel. You just fucking tell him. Yeah. You know, dudes who are in the friend zone for years and then finally get to this point where they think they can tell a chick how they feel, every single chick is going to be like, why didn't you just say something in the beginning? Yeah, listen. But yet you're going to preach the exact same fucking advice to other women that you already know you hate. Well, women are notorious for giving shitty advice to other women, or anyone Uh, for that matter. Never, ever go to women for dating advice. Oh, Lord. It's like going to O.J. Simpson for marriage counseling. Yeah. And if you're being raised by a single mother, everything you're being taught about women, 180 degrees wrong. Yeah. If you are, yeah, if you have a single mother trying to give you dating advice, uh-huh. do the exact opposite of what she says, and then bathe in pussy. <laughs> Got to write that down. Although that sounds disgusting. Don't ever do that. After you've done some legwork, you probably time to tell him how you feel. You should probably reserve this conversation for when you think he's starting to show interest or if you've given it your all and you still can't tell. I got news for you. <sighs> if you can't tell, he's not feeling it. He's not into it. Okay. Men are simple creatures. We're going to let you know one way or another. We're, gonna, we're a lot like women in some ways. We're going to make excuses to touch you, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's a stupid thing. It's, a, it's that yeah. elementary high school shit that no one ever grows out of. It's like if you meet a woman in a bar and she, she starts touching you after about 15 or 20 minutes, you've already, you're yeah, you've already, already... In, the, in the zone if you don't fuck it up. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes being up front is best. Yeah, try doing that when you meet. Uh huh. Instead of waiting this long, if he turns you down, at least you know how he really feels, and you can move on. Maybe he was just afraid of ruining the friendship. Okay, they always have to throw that last thing in there to try to salvage their feelings. Yep. All right. Th- okay. Uh, I didn't want to ruin the friendship. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, I can also agree with this next one. Make a move. Yes. Okay, so we're up to four. Yeah, now. men are very, we're tangible creatures. You give us something that we can actually sink our teeth into, like your booty, uh-huh. we might go for it. Or you just drink the rum and cup the balls. There you go. There you go. Or you get that text at 1038 at night. Fine. Cool. Yeah. Come on over. If you show up with a wizard sleeve, you know what's down below? Mm, yeah. The inverted windsock. <laughs> That's when you fake a stomach ache and go home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You've given every obvious sign, but he's still not responding how you want. Because you're stalking McStalkerson. Once again, if we reverse the genders on who wrote this article and who it's for, suddenly you're creating stalkers. Yeah. Amazing how it only applies to men and not to women. You're going to catch a charge, dudes. Don't do any of this. Get him alone and make a move. Now's your chance to make things physical. Tell him there's something you've wanted to do for a while and kiss him. 
He might be shocked at first, but if he's into you, he'll respond. If you're not quite brave yet, do small things like touch his arm, hug him, lean against him, or whatever type of physical contact you can get. Or cup the balls. Cup the balls. <laughs> could do what the little server chick over at Olga's used to do to me. I have to hold open the carryout window. Hey, Christina, can you grab me some of the things from the back? And then she comes up, puts her rack right on my arm as I'm talking to her at the door. What? There we go. I said, can you get me some more carryout boxes from the back? I just <laughs> pretend she didn't even do it. Oh, yeah. And then she walks off. Yep. Cold shower later. Okay. There you go. Uh, number 13, make him sensitive. Oh my this God. ought to be good. I'm talking about emotionally, so get your minds out of the gutter. That's not where my mind went. No. You'll need him away from his friends for this one. Again, we're the isolation yeah. tactic. Yeah. So if this was a man, he'd be called manipulative. Yes. It's Steer the conversation to an... Testiculus em- redonculitis. Yes. Honey? <laughs> <laughs> Steer the conversation to an emotionally charged topic, such as past heartaches or deep fears. Mm. The idea is to get him to pour his heart out to you. We all know what happens now. You're both all mushy, and the next thing you know, you're tangled up together on the floor, ripping each other's clothes off. You're definitely out of the friend zone at that point. Uh, This is weird. That happens in movies. Yeah, that's rom-com stuff. And it's manipulation. Yeah, and if a dude really, like, gets sensitive and starts crying and shit... She's gonna lose all interest in him. They they say they want that until they get it, and then they... it basically repels them. This is this is one right here may be the worst one on the list. Yeah, this is stupid. Because, like you said, as soon as that dude sheds a tear, it's going to dry up like a bucket of sand down there. Without the wedding cake. Yeah. Number 14, last one on the list. Do something adventurous. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Do not invite Jamal. Oh my God. A study a study published in the Journal for of Personality and Social Psychology, so they might as well just call it the Journal of Quackery, found that men tend to mistake adrenaline for sexual attraction. They ran an experiment with 34 men, having them cross either a shaky bridge or a stable one. As they crossed, a woman approached them and asked for their number. On the other side, those who had crossed the shaky bridge were way more likely to be interested in the woman who approached them, seemingly suggesting that a highly adventurous activity is a good way to win him over and help you when it comes to getting out of the friend zone. I, I don't have any... Uh, I don't... This sounds like, you know, this voodoo. Is, this is no different than trying to score pussy at a funeral. That's reprehensible. Yes, it is, but it happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> That's a whole boatload of different kind of bad karma. You had a one-night stand at my grandfather's funeral. That was a celebration of life. (laughs) Thug life, to be exact. (laughs) (laughs) You know you've done it. There's somebody out there in the chat who has done this. I know guys who go to (laughs) weddings to pick up chicks. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't approve of that, but I understand. Do it right in the coffin, like in Once Bitten. Like <laughs> <laughs> falls over, three bodies fall out. <laughs> <laughs> the widow clutches her chest, and now you got to plan another fucking funeral. Another dirt dart to go. Uh. <laughs> it's just bad news bears, man. Wow. <laughs> Excuse me. But wow, I mean. And for, and this like, whole what, list. What does she mean by adventurous? Because most women are not going to do adrenaline rush, like you know, v- v- you know stuff like uh, you know, the, you go to the roller coaster. amusement park, yeah. roller coasters, shit like that. Yeah, zip lining but, or whatever it is. But people it's do. very controlled. Yeah. When I, I hear about like adrenaline stuff, like jumping out of planes. Yeah, there you go, skydiving. You know, you know paintball. <laughs> you know, oh, shit, stuff man. like that. Dudes are basic too. I mean, like if if we take you, if if we as dudes take a chick to go and see a horror movie, they're either in the sister zone or we're praying that they're gonna get scared enough to grab our dick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of it that way. But I guess or you know, you, you just go, uh, you just go full Dave Chappelle and put your penis in the popcorn. <laughs> Just wait for it to cool off before you do it, dudes. Yeah, that, you're going to burn it on the oil. <laughs> yeah, bottle. that uh, that uh, movie theater butter is no joke, man. You do not want to burn your Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> not, don't do it. Or you can go full popster and do it in a Pringles can. No, no, my grandfather fell asleep underneath his tanning bed. Oh, shit. Burned his Johnson. 
Oh, I was oh, like, I was like nine or ten years old, and he was just in absolute misery for about three weeks. Ooh, oh, that just sounds gnarly, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Watch Grunt Speak live every Tuesday and Thursday at eight PM Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.